Hi everyone, it's me Darlene with Sheepish Bangs. I have to cut my hair. I haven't done that yet. I am here with a fabric unboxing. I'm excited about this one because I have batiks. I have ordered batiks from him several times, quite a few times in the past. And it's usually the same prints, but he got a new shipment and I was like, give me some of that stuff. The only thing that I'm sad about is I asked for three yard cuts for the batiks. And so some of the prints, the new ones, he didn't have three yards and he didn't realize that I would have taken less, which I understand. I need to say that if I want less than three yards. So there's probably a lot of prints that I didn't get because he might have only had like two yards left. So next time I have to tell him up to three yards. I will take one to three yards. Something like that. I don't really have anything in particular to chat with you about. So we're just going to get started. I will let you know that, did I just say I got three yard cuts of batik? Yes, I just said that. And I think he said I have 43 different prints. And then I was like, fill the rest of the box with regular quilt cotton, smallish prints, one and a half yard cuts of that shit. So I'm just going to look. I have opened the box because I needed some fabric for the thumbnail and I see that they got tossed around quite a bit so they're kind of mixed up like regular cotton and then batiks so I'm just gonna pull some out and I'll show you what it is and then I will make my own piles and um, let's just get started. So excited! I do want to mention always go check out my eBay store. I have penny auctions almost all the time unless I'm traveling and I have you know other things that you can buy it now. Buy it now items, no waiting and I just put some new stuff in. Just always go check, all right? Good. The links are down below for that too. Batik love do you know I don't think I've ever had batik with red like this, red and black. Oh, I'm going to be so happy. So this means that you might see some batik videos on the way with quilt kits or pre-cuts to make what I make. Look at this. Ah, feathery. I'm trying to think of the bird. Peacock? Are those peacock feathers? I don't know. I like this too, brown. What I love about these kind of batiks is that if you cut five inch squares, the squares have different colors, but they all work together because they came off the same piece of fabric. Look at this one. So happy. Oh, so far I'm glad. I do have some new prints. I know I have repeats also, and that's okay because I really sell out of all my batik. Look at this. This is new. So far, everything we saw is new. I do believe. Hang on. I believe this stack is all just regular quilt cotton, and I am seeing repeats. Again, I don't mind because it all sells. I love the small prints. I have so much fun putting the sets together. I just had this one. I just had that flower one. I may have had this, but in a different color. I don't know. I don't recognize this one exactly, but I like it very much. Do love. I had this one, just sold some of this one. And these are the colors that bother me. I don't want to call this orange, but it's, uh, mm, I don't like to say pumpkin because that sounds Halloweenish. I think I called it orangish, something like that. Have I had this one? I don't know, but look at those nice little leaves. Love them. Don't think I've had this. Whoops. Don't think I've had this one. Maybe fuchsia? I don't know. There are color charts online that I do look at sometimes, but the thing is, is that our monitor, is it a monitor? It's the screen of my laptop. Is a monitor just that separate big thing we used to own? <laughs> anyway, my screen, you know, our colors can vary on screen, so I don't know. I just worry about too many things. I have had this one. 
florals do really well. I've had this one. I liked it. I like the little artsy flowers like that. And I love anything with aqua, I'm assuming. <laughs> I need to just be quiet now. I like this. I've had it. I don't know if it was this exact color, but see there's little flecks of other colors in there. <sighs> Have not had this. Scales of some kind. That might go really good with this guy. <gasps> I think so as a set of something favorite part is just sitting down and putting the fabrics together and oh so lucky I get to do this I really am okay I have not had this I don't know everything is looking harsh to me this is not like harsh let me check my settings I'm on automatic I'm sticking with it oh I just had this one too oh you're on <laughs> and I really like it I actually did a set of this with like a very small print of like a maroonish and then a very small print of like green. I thought that really went worked well together. It really did. Some fans have not had this. Like it. Look how pretty this goes with this. Assuming you're seeing what I'm seeing because see the the aqua goes with this, and then this does have some kind of gold in the flowers around that orangish center. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ignore me. It's actually like a pink center. More. I noticed he had like a lot of blue batiks because I had posted it on my blog, a picture of what he sent me for a picture. And then I, you know, did some close-ups of the individual bolts. I like to do that for you guys so you can see what I might be getting and then we can all be surprised together. But there was a lot of blues and I do seem to be getting some of those. Never had this one. Oh my God. I just love this. You have to join Patreon or YouTube memberships and become an exclusive shopper. You just have to because these kind of things don't always make it over to eBay. So if you're in the United States, do consider much lower prices and such a better choice, a better variety to choose from. Because like I said, I sell out of a lot. Okay, now we're back. This is something that I've had. Oh, and the links are down below for that stuff. I love this one. Have not had. <sighs> Seriously. Oh, I can't wait. I just had a flash sale this past weekend, which is why I couldn't open the box. I got the box on Saturday. Today's Monday. Um, and I had to wait. And I didn't open it. Not until I sat here and was ready to do the thumbnail. And I just take a few off the top. Because I like to look at them with you. Oh yeah, so did not have this one. Did not ever have this one. These things. Oh, oh, oh. Dots and lines. Be still, my heart. I am so happy right now. <laughs> okay, more. This next one. I love stuff like this. But when selling it, people might think it's stained. It's sort of like a tea dye look. Uh, tea dyed look, but it looks more stained than tea dye does. But I promise you, this is all part of the fabric. I even looked through it. First of all, I loved that it's just modeled and it almost is like a hound's tooth kind of print. But let me see if I can show you. Like here is a darker spot and I don't know, okay, you can see those darker spots on the back also and it's just all over the place. Maybe I can use this in a video tutorial and, you know, so I can explain that that's the way it's supposed to be and then I'll sell it that way. And is this happening to this one too? It's kind of in the same family of colors. Gee, I wish this stuff wasn't so like, you know, I don't know, a little bit wrinkled. So this might have some of that color variances throughout um, I do see something that looks like, you know, a little bit of a shit stain right there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
again, it's meant to be there. It's good for people who stain their fabric. <laughs> It'll just blend in. I just had this one. I love small dots of all kinds. Ooh, I haven't had this one. Oh my God, I just see so many good color combinations. Look at these beautiful, just kind of a sage-ish green, little flowers and leaves. And I do want to say I'm not like an expert at matching fabrics, and sometimes I'm not even trying to. I'll have fabrics that don't have a good relationship with other fabrics, and, you know, I'll just put all of those together, and it's just a, a, a weird mix of things that don't match. Acorns. You know, I like it when he gives me more than one color of the same print. I really do. So we have acorns with blue leaves and acorns with... Not a sucky kind of green leaves. Love those. Oh, I love this one. This goes... Is that the same print? It might be. It looks like bigger, but look. I do believe, though, it's the same print. The flowers just look bigger on the black. Love it. Haven't had that before. Oh, I don't know if I've had this, but I love it. Look at that little tiny dots of color in there. Oh, my goodness. I will have to thank him. He did a very good job so far. Love this. I don't think I've had it. Okay, those were all just regular cotton. That's going in that pile. Hang on. Oh, my God. Is it possible to be too in love with batiks? I'm seeing some good stuff. I love this. Again, red with black. I don't remember what I had with red and black, but... Oh, I see it. <sighs> They'll work together. I'm not pulling it out because it's at the bottom of that pile. Look at this one. Oh, my God. I just love it so much. Please become an exclusive shopper, please. I want you to get in on this. I don't think you can find batiks shipped to your door if you're in the United States. Exclusive shoppers have to be in the U.S. If you're outside, you have to wait till this stuff goes on eBay. But I don't think you can find batiks cheaper anywhere else. If you can, let me know, because I'll probably go buy from them. <laughs> cheaper than what I sell them for, because batiks can be really expensive. Look at that. Look at that. And I do all different things, sometimes like half yards, sometimes yards, smaller cuts, fat sixteenths, the five inch scrappies, strips maybe, I don't know. I might have enough to even do two inch squares with the batiks because I think I have enough variety. And I still have some remnants in my box, but this is a repeat. And uh, so, I, you know, I'm pretty sure like I have remnants of this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> pink and kind of orange-ish. I love that color combination. Flowers, some green in there, a nice green, not a not a pukey green, and some purple. How can I get through this day without attacking these? I have other stuff I have to do. One thing I want to do is start a new quilt top tutorial. Yes, it's coming. Um, not a quilt top, an actual quilt, a rag quilt. So all the quilting will be done. I might make it on the small side, but I'll tell you guys how you can make it on the big side. It's going to be homespun and muslin. No batting for this one. I do have actual 100% cotton batting on the way for you guys. I went with 100% cotton because I know a lot of you like to make the um, bowl things in the microwave, and you need 100% cotton for that. So um, that's on the way. But I think for the homespun, I'm going to do homespun and muslin. There's a reason that I don't want batting in this one because it's going to be different. I'm doing something different. And I like... Uh, quilts that are not super thick for people who live in areas where it's not freezing. 
you know, people in Florida or Hawaii or wherever it's nice weather don't always want uh, a heavy quilt. They would like just a nice little blankie that they can put on their couch or whatever. So that's coming hopefully this week. So subscribe and you won't miss it. Yeah, you won't. All right. Uh, I have uh, this kind of bushy, leafy thing in beautiful shade of this. <laughs> that color. Oh, I like this one too. I'm just so incredibly happy with all of this so far. Even the repeats that I got, they're not like he didn't repeat like the thing of bug spray cans. <laughs> I don't know why. Because I tell him smallish prints. Another one that can look stained. Now, this is, yeah, this is all batik. Okay, batik we know can always look screwy with different coloring and stuff, but I like it. It's like lemon slices on acid or something. And look, tangerine slices. Lemon, tangerine. These belong together. Oh, I've, I've had this one. The suns with the splats of different colors. And I like that, especially when I cut them into scrappies. This I love. Always love to have some orange. Okay, that's all batiks. These guys went on the wrong pile. Looks like all batiks here. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to try to have some batiks for the flash sale this weekend. But boy, I'm going to really be focusing on making a lot of batik sets for Fabric Frenzy 22. I'm not absolutely sure of the date on that one. I've been saying January 17, but it might have to start the weekend of January 24 because I have something else going on, possibly. So either January 17th weekend or the 24th. If you become an exclusive member, you know, I'll be letting you know as the time gets closer. I have had this one often, and I really love it. I would be happy to get this one every single time because it's harder to get the, you know, the pinks or the dark pinks, and I love all those spots. Love it. Have not had this one. Quite big print. Not my favorite to have big prints, but see, this will go good in, like, fat quarters. Not so much for the scrappy pre-cuts because if they end up getting cut, like, you know, not, I don't know, I'm just trying to say, you lose some of the print sometime, which is okay if it's all over, but that is just too, like, too square. So, it'll work, though, for other cuts. Okay, I have uh, matching prints, two different colors. Blue, love, and this, <laughs> love. And see, 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 uh, how do I do this? I never know how to show you anything. Why is it so difficult to do something? Okay, I'm determined. There we go. Like that together. I get this one often too. And again, I like it because it's very colorful. And I have not had this one. I saw it in the, um, in the image he sent me. And I told him, even though this was a big print, it's an all-over big print. And I said, I really would like this one if you have it available. Because no matter where I cut, there's just awesomeness. Another one that looks hound's tooth -ishy. Love. I guess it would be considered hound's tooth. It's not the exact hound's tooth print. We've got this happening. Not as stained, but oh yes, I see stains are happening. I don't know if you can see. There's darkness here and there. It's like the grunge look. That's what I'll be calling them. This one I get often, and again, I love it. We have just a few more after this batch. I love these. Don't think I've ever had this. I hope my exclusive shoppers are jumping up and down for joy over this. Because <laughs> I am. I need others to be jumping with me. Never had that one either. All right, last batch. <sighs> no disappointment in this box. Now, I don't know. 
we might have had this. I don't know. I don't think so. Basket weave. No, I think I would remember if we saw this. Might have had the same color combination, but I love it. I just love it very much. And I have had this one many times. And uh, I'm good with that. And this. Oh, have not had this. And he knows when I order. You know, I'm like, I know a lot of the stuff will be repeats. I don't care. So... If I can sell all this shit, I'll be anxious to order more because I'll get more variety and I will tell them next time, even if you have only a yard of something, if it's something you think I haven't had before, give it to me. I love this. There might be some others like that. Oh, this is different. I like it. It's hard to get light batiks like this. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's easy to get all kinds of batiks if you want to pay $15 per yard, which uh, I can't afford to pay that because nobody would buy from me. <laughs> I love uh, this one. There might have been another one sort of like it. And I get this one all the time, too, and I love it. Really do love that one, especially for the 5-inch squares because it really can make for blocks that look quite different. Or if I do the two inch squares, I'm going to try very hard to do two inch squares with these. I'm so excited. Um, you know, some would be just this color, some would be this color. Then we have more reddish on this side. That's it, you guys. I'm so happy. Go check out my eBay links down below. Well, it's just one link. Go check it out. It takes you to my store, and then in the store, you'll see at the top somewhere, at least on a computer, I don't know what you see on a phone, because I don't look at my phone. Uh, you'll see a place that you can go for uh, Buy It Now, which is just a flat price, and you just buy it, or auctions, penny auctions, and um, you can just bid. All my auctions right now, and have been for a long time, start at a penny. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. One penny, free shipping, and you bid, and if you win it for 45 cents, and people have one stuff, very low priced like that, you get it. You get it in the mail. You have to pay me the 45 cents, so I can cover some of the cost of my stamp, and my fees, <laughs> and the fabric, but it's all good. I do it because I just like to do penny auctions, and it brings new eyeballs to my stuff. So go check that out. Consider becoming an exclusive shopper so you can get in on the flash sales that will have batiks in them, hopefully, starting with this one, and then a bunch for the uh, next Frenzy at, in January at some point. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye!